What's going on today? Hey, how, how are you? Really you know good. what we're doing today, don't you? No, I have no idea. We're cutting ribbon. Okay. You know why are we cutting ribbon? Yeah. Because there's too much long ribbon in this world. Okay. Too much red tape. I heard that. So we're cutting ribbon because we are going to show these new reconditioned, brought back the new colonnades that were originally here when Abbott Kinney, Abbott Kinney launched this whole, and matter of fact, went the whole street. Wow. And there are merchants on this street that are going to be putting up money so that we can put all the colonnades all the way down both sides of the street. That will be Louis Ryan from the townhouse, and that will be many other merchants that own property here. What about uh, Angelica Houston? <laughs> I'm so sorry? What about, what about uh, Angelica Houston? Is she going to pay for it too? Uh, uh, no, she, she wants to get out of town. She's selling her place. She's trying to put it up for $18 million. Okay. Yeah, I can't even come up with half that. And, and who are you with? Uh, I'm with the Venice Neighborhood Council. And your name, sir? Jeffrey Solomon. Okay, so this is a big... No, this is the Venice Historical Society. Okay. I, I, I'm a member of the Historical Society, but the one that actually represents it yeah. is, over, is Jill Pressup, and she's over there. And also, Barbara Lonsdale. Barbara Lonsdale is the one that does all the... Uh, These two? Where are you from? Help me? Wow, that was nice. Okay. Thanks. Wow. Your name, sir? Oh, Mark Antonio Grant. And you, and you with Bill, right? Bill and Bill Wilson also. So what's going on here today? Oh, well, we're doing the uh, dedication of the restoration uh, for the uh, columns. These columns are unique to uh, not just the Venice, but the unique to the city of Los Angeles. And it's the people here, the people of the historical society, that, that have put this thing together to, to make this what it's supposed to be. It's amazing, man. It is. And, and you're doing a great job, by the way, you and Bill. Well, thanks. Make sure you tell them that. Tony Barrow says you're doing a great job. Thanks. I, I definitely will let him know. Okay, thank, thank you. you. And I'll, I'll get all the stuff. How are you doing, Mark? Do that again. Please. No, 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 this is the Please, big game. Yeah, I just want to get their attention. One more time. Man. Wow. That's amazing. I got on the wrong amazing. track. Thank you. Right. Okay. As most of you know, you've heard me complain. <laughs> you've heard me complain and carry on and whatever. Five years it took us to get this done. And we've finally done it. We have done it. So I want to thank everybody for their patience and their support and for coming out. Um, I, I didn't really have a speech. 
what, what I would like to thank, though, there were a lot of people to thank that helped us with this. I'll, I'll do it quickly, not a lot, but David Drawer, I don't know if he's here, he, he gave us the mold so we could make a mold of the capitals. We replaced, if you notice, I don't know, on across the street, the first capital and the last capital were missing. And so with the mold that David gave us, we, we uh, we made another mold, which we, and we replaced them. So we're still not done. There's still a couple little tweaks, but we'll we'll get there. So David, thank you. Mark Worm, who owns the property here, was very you know gave us was gracious enough to let us let us redo the upgrade the columns. And then Tom Sewell, who's not here because he's in lives in Hawaii. He owns the property across the street, and he was a great inspiration to us also. Uh, Mark Sokol, who after this, uh, he was gracious enough to give us a room for our reception. I want to thank everybody for, for just being members, for supporting us around. Uh, we're going to have a, a small reception over at the Hotel Irwin. And uh, Mark also helped us in a couple other things. Uh, so we're, we're thanking him. Ruben, Ruben, Ruben is from Spectra, who without this, if we, if Ruben didn't have the patience, it will track us down to, to do this job and and give us the, the all the ingredients to, to put them together and see it through. And uh, just, just wonderful, thank you. And meet our, meet our price, meet our deadline. He was just wonderful. So thank you, Ruben, and we're not done with you yet. But <laughs> so the people, the people who later you'll all get, you'll all get uh, uh, cards. Um, this was done. Uh, through a grant from the city and we want to do more so we're going to have ongoing fundraisers uh, and you if you donate a certain amount of money you would get you either get a plaque on the uh, on the column itself or we're going to have a uh, in the circle we're working on permits right now we're going to have a dedication wall and in the middle of that wall will be a history of the, uh, you can see it over at the reception, but it, a history of the circle. And then will be, these will be all donors that have donated to the upkeep of this to maybe get more, more columns renovated. Everything's renovated. Nothing is taken down or replaced. Everything is renovated. So the people, I'd like to thank Linda Lux, AJ Tarabella, Daryl DeFay at Voice of the Canals, uh, jo uh, Lori Holyoke at Waldorf Apartments, Joan Del Monte, Don Tollison right here, who is our founder. Yeah. Uh, uh, we'll, all, we'll all be getting plaques once we get the permits. And then Rita Mosier um, and the Abbott Kitty District Association will be getting plaques for the columns themselves and the Venice Historical Society Whoop. and we're going to be putting uh, putting them up they're on order we, we've got some logistics and then they'll be up so if you want to give us money and you want to support this project we'll take it but we won't forget you we'll always honor you <laughs> what, about, what about Angelica Houston is she uh, no, tipping in? So, no. so anyway with that um, I'd also it couldn't have been uh, done without the wonderful, wonderful support of the council office and Mark Antonio Grant, who's going to say a couple words, and let's give him a big hand because all this stuff yeah. could be done without the support of the All right. Thank you. I'll be very, 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 very brief. Uh, these columns, uh, it's not so much the restoration as much as it's a celebration of something that's unique. Venice. It's the culture, the character, and the history that Venice has. And it's the jewel of this entire city. And when when Jill came to the office, and those of you who've worked with Jill know that 
when she has her mind set up to do something, uh, you just better make sure that you get your mind in tune with her because she's not going to stop until she gets it. She's been persistent. But we definitely do appreciate what she's done, everything that she's done, and the body of people that are behind her to get this, to get this, and have today. And plus, Joe, Joe we also appreciate you do what you could to give us some great weather. Oh, okay. I didn't. So, you know, we want to give you this on the after this morning. This is a record of the Ralph Sanders and the Dancing Union Veteran. Is it? Uh, the Venice Historical Society is hereby awarded this certificate of appreciation for exemplary efforts and accomplishments which have been of great value to the community and to the city of Los Angeles, which have come to further a common goal to make the city a better place for support. How long have you been in Venice? Uh, over 20 years. You like it? Oh, I love it. Your name? Diana. Thank you, Diana. Thank you. Oops, sorry. Oh, sorry. It's alright. Okay, thank you. Have a nice time. Thanks, Don, for showing up. Okay, bye. Come back to Malibu. That's where you belong. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the guy, the guy that was Angel that was in there, he, 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 he kind of got this place, but they should have bought it, man, and restored it and stuff, you know. They kept it all raggedy and stuff, you know. Did somebody buy that one? Or are they just yeah, leasing here? The hotel here. They, oh, they're leasing it. And oh, they're leasing it. But they didn't buy the property. No, I don't think they bought it. These electric bicycles. Yeah. I had heard coffee shop, so obviously yeah. no. Thank you, Jesus. Happy Easter. Let the earth be saved. We need money to buy up the main historical place in Venice. We will take that money and uh, have art shows and we'll keep the keep Venice going. I'm the vice president for the Venice Historical Society. Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. And, and, what, and what do you do for them? Oh gosh, everything. I was up at 6 a.m. buying or getting bagels and coffee. And well, thank pastries. you. You're welcome. And thank you, Panera, Fred, and Pete's Coffee for donating. So real quick, what's your thoughts on the violence that's happening in the, on Venice Beach Boardwalk? The violence? Yeah. Um, well, this is where art meets crime. I mean, it's part of life in Venice, you know. So. I, I love the dynamics here. You know, we've got multi-million dollar homes next to gangbangers and, like, artists next to movie producers, you know, homeless people and rich tourists, you know. So it's just an amazing dynamic group of people, and that's why I love Venice. If Venice, if 
there wasn't a Venice in LA, I wouldn't live in LA. So. You're, you're wonderful, and uh, thank you for your work, and keep it up. Okay, thank you, Tony. Have a good one. You too. Thank you. Bye-bye.